Corey is a brewer from the Pacific Northwest United States. For two years now, he's been working in one of Lviv, Ukraine's most celebrated craft breweries. He uses a computer to ensure the process goes as smoothly as possible. Corey learned the ropes of brewing in both the U.S. and Europe. He started at age 18, and by 23, he was a brewmaster. He came to Ukraine thanks to a mutual brewing friend, but he didn't know much about the city of Lviv. So I came out here for the job. Uh, I literally didn't know anything about Lviv. I knew about Ukraine as probably more than a lot of Americans do, mostly because of the war. The place where Corey works is famous in Ukraine for its beer, and it's loved in Lviv for its open format. Visitors are able to see how the craft beer is made. And although he says the work mentality could be better, corey has been impressed with the development of the city over the past two years. Uh, I didn't know the level of English here, so when I first got here, no one spoke English. And if they spoke English, it wasn't very great. But in the two years that I've been here, uh, I go out in the square and there are English speakers everywhere. It's very strange to me, uh, especially because here I'm always like, English, what? I'm like, who's speaking English right now? Uh, so that has been actually really cool. I think the tourists have brought a lot of new ideas to Lviv, and I think it's a really great thing. Stefan Gabi is an urbanist. When he first came to Lviv, he said he was struck by the Europeanism. Now he works for a city development institute. He's been studying Ukrainian for four years and is completing an architecture project in the streets of Old Lviv. Uh, one big problem, of course, is how to organize the renovation of these buildings because, um, as always in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe, every flat is owned by another owner, and so this coordination between the owners is very difficult and um, also to make the owners aware that they are responsible for their building. This is a very big challenge, but there's also progress in this. Katarzyna is a tour guide. She moved to Ukraine from Poland in 2004. Her Ukrainian is perfect, and she says she was almost reborn in Lviv. For her, the city can be seen in its great courtyards with clothes drying in the breeze. She offered an insight into what she sees as a key difference between Ukraine and her home country. <laughs> The Poles have changed a little bit after joining the EU. Ukrainians are still more open. They're ready to help people, invite them over. In Poland, people protect their private space, which is typical of a Western mentality. Foreigners in Lviv, of course, can point out its shortcomings. According to Karazina, the biggest issue is infrastructure. The narrow city streets are unable to withstand the increasing traffic. Lviv's deputy mayor thinks he's found a partial solution. Over the course of the next three years, authorities promise to create bike paths through the city. Tourism is also a high priority, as well as other initiatives. <laughs> One big project that we're working on is an IT park. And that's not the only direction we're going. At a recent city council meeting, we announced a huge, innovative, creative space, which will be developed on the territory of an old tram depot. We want six or seven of these centers in the city. We want IT specialists to stay with us. Lviv is a leader in Ukraine in terms of attracting both foreign and domestic investments. Locals note that this is contributing to the atmosphere of the city, and the mayor's office doesn't expect that trend to stop anytime soon.